Welcome to my channel, Nugget Shooter Red Expeditions. My name is Tammy, for those that may be new to the channel, first time watching. And today, we are going to check again to see if the morel mushrooms are up. We have been staying in Pace in Arizona, and we are really trying to get some morel mushrooms, so we're going back to see if they've come up yet. But I wanted to share with you all the two little towns that we go through um, to get where we actually go up on the rim looking for them. Um, and this is the first town right here oh and here's mr. southern hello and we actually have all four chihuahuas with us in this truck today so here is the little town of pine arizona and they have this place here uh it's called the honey stand i'm hoping it's open today because i love fresh local honey and i hope to get some honey but i'm not sure but I just wanted to share the little town with you. It's a really cute little town. Got a couple little restaurants, a couple stores, not very big. And then as soon as we get out of this town, it's um, Strawberry, a little town of Strawberry. I just love these little towns. Oh, that was the honey stand. I didn't check. Did you see yep. the sign? Honey, did you check if it was open or not? I didn't I didn't get to look. I was looking around, y'all, and I missed if the sign was open for the honey stand. Hopefully on the way back it will be open. That restaurant there, HB's place, we just passed. We had uh breakfast to go and it was pretty daggone good. And I think we're gonna stop at a store right up here and get some snacks or get something to eat. I'm pretty hungry. We haven't had breakfast yet. And we're going to stop here at this little store and get some food. Also has some nice little uh, gifts, you know, it's like a little gift shop in there too for tourists. So they have some nice gifts. Okay. Yeah, as Bill calls it, he calls it fufa. All right, well, we're going to go here and get something to eat and get back on the road, and I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. Okay, y'all, we're back in the truck. We got us some snacks. We're good to go. And uh, we're just about out of the little town of Pine, and we'll be in Strawberry in two miles. But I wanted to just show you the, the beautiful view of the mountains. Well, in face mask. That's in the way, honey. <laughs> You can thank COVID for that. Yeah, right. But it's a, it's a beautiful place here. I love these, uh, some of these, they have some logs, log cabin style homes around here. I would love to have a log cabin. That's like a dream. That would just be awesome. But with, it snows. With a wraparound porch. But it snows. Yeah, well... Get over that. I'm used to that though, because being from Virginia. But yeah, look at these. Look at this view. We should be coming up to Pine soon. Strawberry. I mean, dang on it. I mean, strawberry. Thanks, honey. <laughs> oh, we got a visitor up in the front seat. Dixie came up here. Yeah. We took all the chihuahuas with us today. Yeah, I don't get a lot of signal in this area, so our phone doesn't work during this time driving through here. And I believe we go up to, uh, we are in Payson, and we're at 5,000 feet elevation. And where we're going is about what? Seven to eight? 75. 75. 
uh, 100 feet elevation, a little bit of a difference. But it's just so pretty through here. Okay, so now we are coming up on the town of Strawberry. Careful, boy. Bruno's sliding around over here. All right. So now we are entering Strawberry. Cute little town. Ooh, a pie bar. I know. That's I've been wanting to go there, honey. There's a place called Pie Bar. And it must have but they got some good pie. Even people have houses right here, living right here, on the road, off the road. It's a small town. And I believe we're pretty much almost out of it. Now we climb. So now, yeah, we'll be climbing uphill to our destination where we're going to be looking for the mushrooms. I sure hope we get some more real mushrooms. They're coming up any time, so that's why we're just checking every few days, every couple days. We come up here to see if they're popped up yet out the ground. So we're hoping that they are. And we're getting rain tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be in the camper because it's supposed to rain all day. And I think a high of 50 or 52 degrees, so it's going to be a little bit chillier. Might even see a little snow. We don't know yet. But uh, I'm going to eat some biscuits and gravy that I bought from the store and get back with y'all when we get out in the woods. All right, y'all. We're in Coconino National Forest. And uh, just there, I'll share you the view with you again. Actually, just we just passed through a big patch of snow that was on the ground. So there is actually still some snow patches. Yeah, see what we're looking for is you're looking for the area in the forest that's been burned and that's why they're called black morel mushrooms. They grow, the mushrooms, the black morels grow where the forest is burned. So that's where you find them. They could be other places. But they can be other places, but you're likely to they find like them. Burned. They like the burn areas. I know it's crazy though because we have all these pine cones on the, on the oh lord it's a bumpy ride. We have all these pine cones and they'll trick you. You think you might see a little morel but it ends up being a pine cone. I wonder if that's a defensive thing. What? I wonder if that was a defensive thing what? built into them. They look like pine cones. Oh. So the animals don't see them because turkeys and other animals eat them. Eat what? Oh, the morels? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a small burn right here. Look at that. That's a fresh burn, too. All right. Might well, check that out right now. All right, well, we'll be getting closer to our destination, so I'll get back with y'all when we're here. Got parked and out of the truck looking for some mushrooms. Okay, y'all, we've been walking around in the forest here. So far, we have not found nothing. We're still looking around, though. There's Mr. Southern and Bruno. We'll just give you a look around. It's a beautiful area. All these pine trees. Yeah. Surrounded by them. Spruce trees. And little baby ones growing all right here. But yeah, we're walking around looking for these, see if any popped up. And you want to look around the trees and stuff, and you want to pay attention to if you see the pine tags. Well, I call them pine tags. Uh, other people call them pine needles, but where I'm from, we call them pine tags. When you see them pushed up in the ground, it could be a mushroom trying to pop through.
I haven't seen anything yet. We're going to check out a couple spots. I think, you know, as we drive out, some more, a few more spots. But no, don't see any yet. Huh. A lot of pine cones, some of these pine cones can play tricks on you. You think it's a morel or something, but it's a daggone pine cone. Hmm. Well, we gonna try out some other spots, honey? Yeah, we'll hit some on the way back. All right. All right, y'all, we're getting closer to the truck and we're still looking as we head back to the truck and get back with y'all in a different spot. I just wanted to show y'all this real quick right here. This is a little, uh, kind of a big patch of wild, this is wild strawberries coming up. It doesn't have the berries yet, but it's starting to come up. So that's also a good sign of these things coming up that the morels should be uh, showing up here soon. All right, we're gonna head back to the truck now. All right, y'all, we just took a little drive down this road we've never been down before. Pretty open area, it's pretty cool back here. Let the dogs run free a little bit. And looky here, we come across a little pond. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's cool. Nice little area. All right, we're gonna be looking for some more mushrooms. Looky here, y'all. There's actually a patch of snow still. I'll show y'all. My dogs, well, Bruno, last trip we were on, he stepped in some snow, but the, our other little chichas have not been in the snow before. We don't get no snow in the desert. Well, we got like five minute sprinkle once. But look, a patch of snow. What do you think, Biddy? Look at the snow. She's smelling something. Y'all don't want to step in the snow? Bruno doesn't care. They just keep going around it. <laughs> Little bit. Come here. Come here. Look, a feather. Real furry, fuzzy one. Oh, I see. I wonder, wonder what, what that's all I don't of. know. Anybody know what this is? Mm, I'm not sure what bird. that. Real fluffy. I'm standing in snow, y'all. Funny stuff. Okay, we're gonna walk around a little more. Looking for mushrooms. Still looking. All right, y'all. Well, we're back in the truck and we're thinking it's gonna need to rain. Is it supposed to rain tomorrow? We have a good chance of rain tomorrow before they pop up. Um, we're not seeing them yet. And we're, we're looking as we drive, but we're driving out of here. But, uh, no morel mushrooms today, but I know we will get some, especially after that rain. So we're just waiting on that. But uh, here's another beautiful scenic view, look and drive. another cool thing we found um we found a glass gatorade bottle y'all look at that and we brought it home with us so that was pretty cool finding that and we're coming to a stop for some reason and we're backing up what do you see hon i'm not sure look at that he's checking on something he saw a lot of pine cones i tell you It's garbage, I'm gonna pick it up and stay. I guess it's a piece of garbage or something. <laughs> Need 
a little classifier or something. Uh, Check that out. That'll come in handy. Maybe somehow. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> we find the craziest stuff. Yes, we do. Uh. And away we go. I can't wait to get these mushrooms, y'all, though, because I've never picked fresh morel mushroom. I've ate the one dried morel mushrooms that friends have given us, and I think they're delicious. And Bill says when I actually eat a fresh morel mushroom, it's going to be like a whole different experience. I might have to even do a happy dance, a food happy dance or something. <laughs> you will. Because it would be that good. So I just cannot wait to eat these morels. I know how much I like the ones I've had that are dried. You can see the burn areas in there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but where it's been burned. And that's where you want to be looking for these black morel mushrooms. But yeah, we're just heading back to the camper. I'm going to, uh, have some uh i made a turkey breast in our rotisserie we have this carousel rotisserie and i made a turkey breast yesterday in it so we're going to have some turkey breast with gravy and mashed potatoes and some kind of vegetable i don't know yet so i'm going to go ahead and end this video out and this beautiful scenery so like subscribe hit that notification bell if you enjoy these videos and have a wonderful evening or day wherever you're from, y'all.